Hello YouTube, Kentucky Snuff, Nasal Snuff Review, you know the routine. We're going to look at Tokes Spanish Gym today. Um, I actually, this was in the first package that I ever received in the mail. This was part of my very first order and I've given it a month and a half to kind of kind of get used to it because when I first got it I didn't like it and even when I first started doing reviews I didn't really want to review it because I wanted to give it time you know I wanted to get used to it because I don't know I mean I haven't taken too much out of it there's probably roughly seven grams of it left I've only gone through about three grams of it um, the grind in it it's not it's fairly medium um, the smell smells uh, kind of bread and buttery to me uh, that's a good thing though I like bread and butter I don't really get any of that honey sort of thing that a lot of other people do it's more like a like a biscuit batter which I like biscuits so I mean I'm from Kentucky I'm I like me some good biscuits and gravy every now and then a nice little country breakfast with ham and biscuits and gravy and bacon and all that good stuff so we're gonna let's give this one a try after taking a few days off from it that is excellent 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 um, and I can see why this is one of Tokes more popular popular blends because that's just got a really nice aroma to it and it just fills your nostrils almost immediately with sort of like a like a bread sort of smell and it's got some sweetness to it it's not it's not bitter or anything like that and uh, this is one that I can definitely see myself buying more out of, you know, buying more out of, buying more of, excuse me. Um, this one, I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 5. I do like it enough to say that this is a 5 out of 5 for me. It may not be a 5 out of 5 for you. This nicotine, it's got a, it's got a pretty good pretty good haul of nicotine in there uh, it's not like you're standing you know at a dump truck and it just dumps nicotine on you know this is more like this is more like the back of a pickup truck full of nicotine I'm making some weird comparisons as far as nicotine goes uh, like in the other video where I compared you know the uh, the atom bomb to the 22 long rifle ammunition sort of thing uh, <laughs> you gotta be creative with it and you can't keep saying the same thing over and over again because your viewers will get bored so I try to just come up with different stuff on the fly because I don't I don't plan out my reviews this is like my third or fourth review that I've sat down with today and none of them were planned so what I'm saying is not scripted it's right off the top and you almost have to be like that you know you can tell when something's artificial. You can tell that somebody wrote down what they're going to say. I don't do that. I I go on the fly because I know that it's more interesting that way. It leaves a lot more room for error, which I think that viewers need to see my errors as I speak because everyone 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 makes mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Nobody's perfect in the snuff world. Nobody's perfect in the pipe tobacco world. Nobody's perfect at work. Nobody's the perfect family person at home. So obviously, I carry that over into this because I want to. I want the world to see that I'm not some snuff expert that's just been snuffing ever since I was born. That's not the case. It's always good to have a fresh mind because you can learn a few things and. And that, that's, that's especially true because I got a comment on my uh, Makuba review about how I was talking about dumping it into the lid to get the pinch because it's hard to get it's hard to get my fingers in there and pull it out. I can't do it. So there's always new tricks to be learned. And Vogie Tobacco, he's been snuffing for six years and he's still learning. I've been snuffing for a month and a half. 
I'm obviously still learning, so no one's ever perfect at it. I'm gonna get some more of this. Originally, when I first discovered that I actually liked this, this was something more that, you know, I would get off work and I would take a pinch of it and then I'd go on my way or I'd take a pinch before I went to bed. But I can definitely see this one making the daily rotation in the future as I start to get tired of the ones that I've got in it now. What I usually carry, carry with me nowadays, I carry the six photo cheetah, I carry the almond toast, I carry the uh, crumbs of comfort around with me, but I'll show you. I'm just about out. It's time to order more. I've, oh, I spilled a little bit of it. Um, I've got just a tad bit left, probably not even a gram left in there. It's disappointing because I really like it. It really reminds me of spearmint chewing gum from Wrigley's. So. That's what's great about snuff. There's nostalgia from it. And, uh, time to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. See, I'm still learning. I don't have my technique totally refined, and I never will. I will always come across the snuff, case in point, with the, uh, where'd it go? The six photo cheetah. This one is so fine that I can hold my breath and kind of hold my nose and it will still travel through I will still feel it in my lungs it's it's that fine I will never be I will never just be the biggest snuff expert in the world even the greater ones out there like uh, Snuff Begins and Uncle Squinty you know people people like them that have been doing this for some time they make mistakes and I think it would be wrong of a lot of people out there that watch those guys to just think of them as, you know, the go-to guy. And I'm not taking away from their character. I'm not insulting them. I'm not putting them down. I'm not saying they're bad, but nobody is perfect. Nobody ever will be. There's always going to be that new kid in town like me that's going to be there to show you that there are all kinds of different perspectives that you can have. And it would be wrong of you to think that you only have to watch Uncle Squinty. You only have to watch Snuff Begins. You only have to watch Cousin Stuffy. You only have to watch Tabacky Lassie. You only have to watch whoever. There's always somebody else. There's always opinions to get. You shouldn't bank on one thing that you read or one thing that you hear. It's like going to the doctor's office. You get an opinion from a doctor. Well, that doctor may not be right. You might want to go get a second opinion. You see it with a lot of things. Um, case in point, my wife, she has really bad health. Her kidneys are just screwed up. She does dialysis. She just had surgery today. She has to get hemodialysis now instead of peritoneal dialysis. There's always, there's always going to be somebody else out there that will have a different opinion. Nobody's opinion is greater than anybody else's and you should always, you should always want to learn something. You should always want to hear somebody else speak. That truly is what makes snuff taking, for me, the ultimate hobby because there's so much of it. There's so many people that do it. There's, it's not really like a main mainstream thing, but there's plenty of reviewers out there on YouTube and there's always something to be learned. So always be on the lookout for somebody else that you can watch a review from. And it doesn't have to be a review, it can just be discussing the latest and greatest trend in the snuff taking world. There's always something to there's always something to read or watch. So uh, anyway, this is going on nine and a half minutes now, a bit longer than I expected. This has been a nasal snuff review review from Kentucky Snuff. Five out of five Tote Spanish Gym. Check it out. Tote.com or Mr. Snuff.com. Have a great day.